What's going on everybody? It's your favorite rambling redhead. How are you today? So yet again, we got a, a video starting on a weird day, but it is Tuesday. Um, one o'clock about just finished my lunch, came home from work, I did a half day today because we are picking up our RV today. I'm calling it an RV, that's not actually what it is. It's actually a travel trailer. Um, but I don't know why, but I find that odd to say. So I keep calling it an RV and I'll probably continue to call it an RV. But I'm just kind of out here walking around the yard. Garden is looking great. It rained last night. And um, fortunately, you might notice there's only one duck back there. We had a real nasty windstorm a couple nights ago, and it blew the uh, grill over onto Lucy Bird, our uh, female duck, smaller one. So fortunately, she's not with us anymore. But I'm kind of walking around out here. We're leaving in about an hour or so. We got to drop my teenager off at work. And then after that, we are going to uh, go pick this thing up. So it's a uh, older model, 2008. And I've borrowed a buddy's truck to go pick it up with because at the time, the uh, trailer brake controller and sway control hitch from a Suburban wasn't here yet. It is now. So when we get there, we'll talk more about it and I'll let you guys check it out. But uh, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, still trying to remember to say those things, so I'm supposed to say that. But yeah, like, subscribe, and uh, hang on. We're about to go grab this RV here in a few minutes. All right, well, that was an adventure. Um, pick up the trailer, we're fine and uh, hauling it with the uh, F-250 went just fine. No problems at all there. Took it over to my grandparents' house, who is who I used to RV with all the time. Um, I'll talk about that some more probably while we're inside there walking through. But we got home and um, the bumper height is too high on that F-250 to get this camper into my driveway. So I've mentioned plenty of times now, my driveway's got a huge slant to it and you can tell there how much slant, that's how much slant there is to this. Um, but we hooked it up to White Betty, my wife's Suburban, that we'll be towing it with, and um, got it up there. I was kind of worried. I'm still kind of concerned. We'll see what the city has to say. We uh, cover the sidewalk here, but, well, my neighbors have that tree that completely covers the sidewalk on that side, and that car that lives on the sidewalk on that side. So I don't think I'll see hear too much about it, and I'm not sure how long it'll actually be out here. But I do have 32-footer in my driveway. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to go and take this uh, truck back, pick up my Explorer, and bring it home to eat dinner. But, yeah, I didn't record this like I'd planned to. I'd planned to put the GoPro or the mount on while we were towing and all that fun stuff. And I just didn't because I left this camera here. So, but yeah, we got the big girl home. She tows great. Um, I'll have to go through it real thoroughly tomorrow after I get off work. I've also got to get the um, hitch set up on my wife's Suburban because we have a weight distribution hitch for that. It's got to go on, and I got a trailer brake controller that I got to install on this thing as well. So, big old hitch. But it's supposed to help. The uh, truck is rated to tow 6,000 pounds, and this trailer is only 4,800 dry. So, the rule of thumb is that you're adding 1,000 pounds or so worth of stuff. So, we're at 5,800, still below the 6,000, and then with the weight distribution hitch, we're rated to haul 10,000. So I don't think it'll be too much an issue. Plus we got uh, trailer brakes on both sides, they're on both axles, so they should be fine. But we have a couple of things that I have to fix. The uh, step on the outside here has an issue. Um, I think it's actually just a bolt has backed out that I need to tighten back up for the step. Um, what else? You know, this thing didn't get used much. It's definitely got some cosmetic wear. It is a 2008, so it's 13 years old. But after going through it with my grandparents and going through it while we were at their house and just walking through it and really spending a few minutes in it, I don't know that this thing was used much by its previous owners. I think it's possible that they bought it, used it a couple of times, and it sat in storage most of its life. Because overall, the exterior and the interior is in phenomenal shape. The uh, seats don't have ruts in them. It doesn't seem like it's been sat on. Nothing. So... Anyway, I get off work tomorrow. I will uh, walk you guys through the interior. We'll go over the exterior. Uh, probably gonna have to pull it back out to hook up this weight distribution hitch. So I'll fly the drone around it so you can see it. And so I can see the roof. And yeah, but that's gonna do it for today. I'm just excited. We got it in the driveway and we can still get the Suburban in the driveway. I call that a win for me. Alrighty guys, and I'm home. So, God promised, this is our 2008 trail cruiser or trail light she's 32 foot long sleeps nine people has a dry weight of 4600 pounds 
she's uh you know when i looked at it at the dealership next to the other rvs it's like oh it's not that big and i looked at it when it was in the street at my grandparents house oh it's big when i put it in this driveway oh it's huge but it fits we had to uh get it up here with the suburban but it fits so i got it all stabilized up now and let's kind of do a quick walk around my wife has already been um, working on the inside pulling the valances down and looking at some backsplash options but let's see in here i've got two 20 gallon propane tanks uh but it's a pain to open that up so i'm not going to but they have a switch over valve that i'll show the first time i use it just a normal battery in there uh, it does have manual stabilizers all the way around a nice big pass-through storage with my 25 foot power cable that was included so I have a good size slide on this side that is where the couch the kitchen is I'll slide that out once we get inside the uh, vent here for the vent a hood there was something in there I made it mad um, hot water heater 30 amp shore plug, hook into a cable or antenna or satellite, that kind of thing. And then my city water connection, and there's the uh, good old toilet drains. It does have a clean out cap, which is nice. And I've also got low side drains there at the back, so that's hot and cold water that'll drain back there to uh, drain the system out completely if you're storing it for an extended period of time. So, in this door is an outdoor shower. So we do the beach thing or somewhere and the kids will get nasty and yucky. Obviously, I can hose them off before they come inside with filtered water and hot water. So it is a four inch hollow bumper. So that allows us to put the sewer pipes in the bumper and I don't have to store them inside. So I've got all the all my accessories ordered for the most part that I'm doing for now. Um, and they'll all fit in a tote. I'm going to try and track down a tote that will fit in this compartment here. This is a pass-through. It goes all the way through. But I'd like to get a tote that just fits and will go on just this side. And um, not go all the way across. So that would be more convenient. So there's the other side. That is missing its awning. At some point in its life that's gotten, I believe, torn off. I think it hit something because the seam, or the inseam of it is still up there. And the brackets are broken off. But the hardware is here. So I can order a new awning to go on it. I have a, a screen door, obviously. The step is the only major damage item. And it, I do believe, is just... That bowl right there is backed out. So I'm going to WD-40 that and tighten it up. But, fresh water tank. And then I have my furnace. And that is electrical right there for outside. And then there's a door back there. I'll open it up. So this door is a fire exit. Case of emergency. But it is also... I got two keys. Access to another big storage area. So that is underneath the back double bunk. Let's head on inside. So let me tell you a little bit about what we're doing here. So this is my wife's Suburban. We'll be towing this with. A dry weight of 4,800 pounds. Should be more than capable of towing it, but I do have a weight distribution hitch just because it'll make the towing a little bit nicer. So growing up, I spent a ton of time traveling in an RV with my grandparents on my stepdad's side. who um, We spent a lot of time at state parks. Uh, down at the beach and summers with them and then I did a lot of car tripping with my grandparents on my mother's side so I've done a ton of traveling my wife hasn't done a ton of traveling I've done a ton of RVing she's done none um, so that's what got us on to the subject of talking about RVs and then ultimately ended up purchasing this one so let's see where are we at here so we have a queen size front living so those doors down here the bottom there do access that pass-through storage as well so I can access it from in here and there's a shelf above the access so I can store I don't know nothing big 
but I have hanging closets on both sides and a pass-through on the top as well as a vent and a smoke detector carbon monoxide detector you get down here on the bottom see the best way to show you all this there's a drawer pull out in it which is a convenient use of space because under the bed is also storage so in a lot of units that board is not there in the bottom of that and those drawers aren't there because of that you are um, able to access that full underside storage through there um, I, I appreciate the separation and I think we'll keep it but for now we're definitely keeping it so she's obviously as you can see she's got the valances and the uh, blinds off all the windows deciding if she wants to replace those blinds redo the valances uh, what she wants to do there all the interior and if she, anything we change in here that'll be all entirely up to her and I will just do the uh, legwork of it Hey, look, cleaning supplies. Will you put that in the sink for me for tomorrow? I will. Thank you. So, cleaning supplies for tomorrow while she's working in here. Okay. So, moving forward here. We have a bar, which is a really cool feature you don't see very often. It does have a pair of stools that are underneath the table there. And, there's storage under there. It's a heater pipe. Um, there's a plug under there as well. We have the lovely Jensen CD player radio. It's not working right now. I'm not sure if it's not working because we don't have shore power connected or because it's dead. Um, but one of the two. And then, let's see, so we got cabinets there. That big opening is where normally a uh, big TV would have gone back then. Um, it's not, I say big, it's like a 24 inch opening, give or take a little bit. Obviously the TV was removed at some point. But if you look in there, there is a 12-volt uh, cigarette lighter connection, an antenna connection that has a switch over for the two cable inputs. So I have a rooftop antenna right here. This guy winds up a analog antenna up on the roof that I can run through a digital converter. Or I have that satellite or the uh, antenna connection on the side that I showed you if I was at a campsite that offered cable. That would be where we connect to that. So this table lays down into a double-sized bed obviously we have the queen at the front and then a double size on the bottom we have to get a mattress for a twin above that so this is a dual fuel six cubic foot fridge um, so freezer refrigerator and it runs on electric when we're plugged in and propane when we're not so i can cool it off with propane here at the house and while we're going down the road unlike with my grandparents campers where we'd have to cool it off plugged into the house and then load it up with everything that was also cold and then it would warm up as you drove to the coast or to the campsite wherever you were going and usually by the time you got there it was all pretty warm in there uh, this one it'll stay cold the whole time so it's a real simple bathroom i don't know that we need to go back here it is missing the door it's a really weird thing that the uh, salesman was telling me it was fairly common that they'll see for some reason people remove these doors to the bathroom probably a space ergonomics thing but uh, and is moved. So we have but that stand up shower that I fit in. Toilet, sink over here in the corner. Big old cabinet there that will probably end up as a pantry. Um, there's a switch right here that triggers on and off our hot water heater. So it is a propane on demand water heater that installed into there. So I, I was just looking. There's actually a little bit of space right here but i'd be curious to take that door off of and see if that's still usable space when this is closed as well or if that um cable's in the way there's a cabinet there another above it two more under the sink or under the stove so it's three burner gas stove it's got a microwave whatever and it's actually they didn't show me this on the vent hood while we were at the dealership i happened to come across it but this little switch right here lets me see all of my monitors for my tanks. That turns on my water pump if I was using water out of my um, water tank, not off a of city supply. And then I have my light and my fan. So most things in these campers run on 12 volt. It's all running off of the uh, battery right now. So I don't know if, so we're at a huge angle sitting in this driveway. I don't know if y'all are gonna be able to stand up in here on this tripod, but we're gonna try it. Yeah. So I've got a switch here. Makes this real simple. 
take the whole wall. Just like that. And now, there is an absolute ton of space. So I can quite easily, if my wife was cooking, let's say, I could quite easily walk behind her to get to the beds, or the kids could. Or um, the couch, it says jackknife couch, so that'll also lay down into a bed. Um, so it sleeps nine, so you get two on the queen, two on the jackknife, two at the table, two on the double bunk, and then one on the twin bunk. Now I'm not saying it would be comfortable to sleep nine in here, that is sleeping four couples and a single person. So if you could just imagine that, that wouldn't be a good time, have that many people in this small of a space. But technically it will do it. So I didn't mention, but it's a carrier AC unit that's ducted for the whole trailer. Uses a uh, wireless controller that I got to mount somewhere. And yeah, so the only big projects I have inside right now is actually this opening. I'm going to make a plate. I'm going to go across this opening with a hinge system of some sort. So we still open it to access it um, and then I can mount like a 24 27 inch TV something like that to it just for the sake of when we're in here and it's raining and we need the TV something to watch other than cell phones is there uh, I was thinking I'd put a 32 there but it's looking like the only way I could get a 32 is if I did like a ceiling mounted um, swing down and I don't particularly want to do that so the only other option I would have I guess would be a big swing out arm Mounted on this wall, um, that would still be visible from the seating areas, essentially. So that might be a thing. I guess that could be a thing as well. I don't know. I think down there is probably better with a little swing out arm up here so we could see it from the bed or the couch. Uh, but our first trip with this will be going to Cedar Hill State Park, I do believe, here in a couple weeks after Easter. Easter is next week. Um, Today is my birthday. Turned 33 today, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, we're going to do Cedar Hill. After that, I think we're going to go to my wife's uh, parents up in Tulsa, to the property up there. And then after that trip, I think we're probably going to do Lake Whitney State Park, my favorite place. After that, and then I don't know, California in a few months. Um, so originally our California trip, we're taking our three boys out to see their biological dad who lives out there um, for some time so they're gonna see him for three or four days essentially and originally we were doing airbnbs all the way there and all the way back and while we were there uh, now we're just gonna take this and we'll hit koas instead or campgrounds or we'll figure something out uh, at that point i'll have a generator because i'll be i'm gonna be buying a generator for these trips to tulsa where we're staying on the uh basically it's raw property out there um so if we wanted to i could just boondock in a parking lot somewhere realistically overnight um and it'd not really be a big deal so that's what that's what our plans are for this guy so i'm excited extremely um to have it and it kind of all fell into place we were originally looking at a newer model that was a little bit more money and this one popped up so we went and looked at this one we liked it put a deposit on it and picked it up got it home yeah i'm super excited for it so anyway that is that. I'm going to have a look at that um, step there tonight. It's supposed to rain here shortly, and it's my birthday, so I'm not trying to do too much work. But I am going to look at that because it's making it kind of difficult to get in and out. But that is going to do it for this video. So I've been your favorite rambling redhead. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I try and get these out 5 o'clock every Sunday um, out here on the new camera. It seems to be working pretty well. And yeah, that's what we got going on. So anyway, I've been your favorite Rebel and Redhead, and I'll see you later. Bye.